we are back. Hi everyone, I am the Gamer Gazelle. I am want to say thank you for watching and thank you for tuning in. Look at Max. She looking different. She look, she look punk rockish. She does look good. She compared from the regular t-shirt and jeans. Anyway, we are here in Chloe's place. I. So last time, I'm just gonna give you guys a recap of what happened. So last time we started episode, episode three. And uh, we pretty much did a little bit of sneaking around the, sneaking around Blackwell to get some evidence of what's going on campus about uh, Chloe's friend, Amber. So, basically things are starting to take a toll. It's starting to get a little bit more out of control. Max is tr still trying to get more information about what's going on at Blackwell. Luckily, Kate Marsh is fine. She's doing better. I'm glad she is. So we're gonna get finished. We're gonna start off with seeing how um, Chloe's mom is doing. Good morning, Joyce. Rachel. Ah, uh, I mean Max. <laughs> oh, you startled me. Well, you fit those clothes well. Thank God you're not a hellraiser like her. I'm sorry. Chloe. Now tell Chloe's me exactly friend's name is what Rachel Amber. Tomorrow. Sorry. When it comes to me, I like pancakes in the morning. I'm dying for some of your famous pancakes. I thought you would have missed those. Ah, you ate more than William, and he loved them. <laughs> I remember. We would race each other to grab them from the stack. So this time, you can help me with the ingredients. I need you to grab me the eggs and milk. Eggs and milk? No problem. Okay, let's go to the fridge. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. I love that they still have the same refrigerator. Okay. Ah, right here. The eggs always come first, as Joyce used to say. Wowza. Chloe still eats the same cereal. So do I. Before I get to milk, I just want to look around. Oh, man. I don't want to be famous for this. Oh, yeah, the apocalypse. Like I said, things are starting to take a toll on on the town. Who drinks beer this early around here? Beer in the morning? Yeah, that's true. Anything else around here? Jeez, can you help me get this bird out of here? Oh, look at the poor bird. He seems kind of freaked out. Uh, let's see. Do it. Can I open a window? Uh, no, no, I didn't want to go outside. Go back in. Yeah, here we go. I keep expecting to see the sky turn red. Let's see if we can get the bird out of here. Okay, birdie, time for you to leave. Gotta go. Bird, be gone. Fly, you fool. Come on, bird. There it goes. Okay, bird's gone. And let's get the milk. Now for the mother's milk. Thanks. After all these years and everything that's happened, it's great to see you and Chloe together again. She hasn't had a good friend since you or Rachel. Oh, those clothes remind me so much of her. Such a sweet girl. I'm just hoping she's living large in L.A. I'd love to think that too, Joyce, but... We are on the same page, Max. I keep hoping that Rachel will show up or even send a message to Chloe from Hollywood. Or wherever she is. Mm. 
That went up. Was Rachel in trouble? I hate to even think this, much less say it out loud, but I think Rachel is in serious trouble. I know. I watch those awful true crime shows, and it makes me ill if I think about Rachel ending up on one. So I don't think too much. I see why Chloe is so obsessed with finding her. <laughs> Max Caulfield, are you actually jealous of Rachel? No, I don't think Max is. What? Uh, no way. I know I was selfish when I left. I'm glad Chloe found a better friend. No, just a different one. Last time I saw you and Chloe in your pirate outfits, I knew she would never find a better friend. And when you took the rap for that joint, you proved it. Thanks. But it seems like Chloe and me were pirates a thousand years ago. And that makes me, what, a century old? <laughs> You're only 18, Max. Oh, youth. If only I could go back. It's not all that, Joyce. Voila, a breakfast fit for us queens. And a king. <laughs> go sit at the table. Okay, let's go to the table. Ah, breakfast time. Thank you so much, Joyce. I'm never leaving this table. Good, you can clean. Mm -hmm. Eat up, Max. Oh, that's what I call pancakes. I guess nobody waters the plant here. I'm glad that's creamy and not crunchy. Seeing you again, ah, oh, made me remember so much. I know these photos don't measure up to your work, Max. My favorite photographers probably take pictures similar to yours. You make David happy, Joyce. He wants us all to be happy, Max. He's just not great at showing it. Uh, I don't think I can rock this outfit like Rachel. You have your own cool style. Wow, sir. I totally remember that day. I'm glad. William took this picture with his instant camera. <laughs> oh, it was the last picture he ever took. He had his car out right after this, and... and... I know, Joyce. I'm sorry. I didn't show you this to be morbid. In fact, I want you to have this. This was when my baby was so full of life and light. She was hopeful, positive, and everything she's not today. And this was the last time I ever saw Chloe truly happy. Ah, here comes Chloe. Did you guys have a bonding session about how fucked up I am? It's not always about you. Chloe, please, it's too early to start picking a fight. Eat instead. I'll keep the warden busy while you go peek in the garage. Now stop whispering, or I'll know you're talking about me. Stop being so nosy, mother. Jeez, I can't do anything around here without everybody getting up in my shit. Hey, 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 No chill. one can even joke with you, Chloe. You fly off the handle like that. Excuse me. I have to use the bathroom. Sure, run off and pee when you should back me up. Now, who's being Jeez. paranoid? Just listen to yourself. Nobody else does. I do need to get into David's computer. He's got to be hiding shit. Okay, let's see. Can we get in? No shit, it needs a password. How about step douche? Try again. I need more clues. 
Uh, let's see, let's go in the cupboard. Nothing nah. to see here. Well, Maybe I could try stepdad for the password. Love stepdad. Well, I don't know. He seemed to have like a on and off switch. Let me get more clues. See what else is up here. Oh yeah, I remember Nothing that. In it. Naturally, David would buy a heavy-duty military padlock. I can even see the combination. That might be a useful password. Seven one seven one. Okay. I'm gonna check the padlock. Can I? There's no way Chloe can put that gun back now. Yeah. Hmm. Huh. Maybe this ID number might work. Okay, that's the high school badge. Well, I, uh, missed something. I could try the license number for the password. Okay. There's a book. Looks like David has read this a lot. What did he learn? Coming back home, a veteran's guide. Let me check out here. Obviously, David's parents care about him. That date might be a good password. Okay, I think I have no clues. Let's try it. Uh, let's try family. The, that date. Oh, shit balls. No. Personal. Uh, seven one seven. Something simple. Such wrong. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Let's try something. Nope. No way, Max. You totally froze the laptop. Try uh, Okay. Apparently those don't work. There's a trophy. David has been dragging his head around since 2001? Oh, there's something down here. Right here. In the car. Joyce might as well have wrote, let's get married. That might be a useful password. Where's a knife down there? Even David Madsen might be an angel to somebody else. Hmm. Yeah, maybe someone else. To Chloe's mom, but everybody else, mm, not quite. Cute. Can't picture David driving Joyce around with this on the car. Anything else around here? Okay. Go around, double check to make sure I got everything. Yeah, got everything. Uh, let's do personal.
Worst hacker ever. Nope. Try that date. Ah! Score. Max the hacker strikes again. Whoa. Spoiler alert. Rachel definitely hooked up with Frank. But why does David care? Huh. What, Frank? Out of all people, Frank? Hmm. He met her. He picked her up. 235 at Blackwell Academy for a controlled substance. Uh oh. Okay, what else? Instead of stalking Kate, David could have helped her. Yeah, he could have. Well, a lot of people follow the same path to, to either class or to home or wherever they go. Make it easier. Yes. Stalker much? Ugh. This is so wrong. Oh, he even got bastard. He even got Max's profile. Good. This guy's a creep. I better tell Chloe about this now. It's just one more thing to make her sad and mad. Okay, I think Chloe was in the kitchen. Let's go talk to her. Okay, Taylor's being nice. Let me take something. Oh, I missed that one. The bird up in the living room. Alright. Was it up there? No, not there. Right outside. Oh, I can't go outside now. Uh-oh. Nice breakfast. David, you, you back already? I have to take a nap after writing up vandalism reports last night. What happened? Some little shit-ass punks broke into the swimming pool. This is what happens at these PC bullshit colleges. Entitled students taking over the campus. Do you know for sure it was Blackwell students? Who else would do it? And I'm gonna bust them. <sighs> Figures you'd be here. Is that your Rachel Amber Halloween costume? You know more about her than me. No, you and Chloe think you know more than anybody. Like all teenagers. Leave Max alone, David. Stop threatening students. Yeah, he threatens tell him. them with surveillance cameras so he can spy on everybody. Like he spies on all of us here. Don't start, Chloe. Not now. Yeah, I'm just always starting shit, right? You're a total paranoid, David. Not now. Chloe. Uh, don't you raise your he hand. Used to call me a loser for getting kicked out of Blackwell. So who's the loser now, David? Who haven't you accused or harassed? Between your investigations into Rachel and Kate, what have you done besides get in trouble? Uh-oh. Not a choice. Okay. Honestly, David is paranoid. Very paranoid. So... I'm gonna side with Chloe. I'm siding with Chloe. I'm sorry. You're a bully, David! I saw you harass Kate Marsh when she was going through hell. You could have totally helped her. Everybody at Blackwell is a suspect to you, except for Nathan Prescott. That's why the students and faculty don't like you. You even threatened me. 
I do respect your service, but you don't respect anybody. Uh, you were smoking pot in Chloe's room. That's illegal. So is spying on people in your family and at your work. Why do you have photos of Kate Marsh and Rachel Amber in your files anyway? What? Is this true, Max? Yes, David. Why do you have these files at all? I find this very disturbing. I do not have to take this kind of interrogation. Not from you punks. Maybe you, you punks? should calm down. Uh oh You're turning on me now, huh? Of course. Women always stick together. Well, screw you. Mm -mm. David, you better go to a hotel until we figure this out. You can't kick me out of my own home. It's my home, David. Paid for and in my name. You know the law, right? Oh, I, I thought I knew a lot of things. Like when I'm out flanked. Have a nice day. Chloe, for once, just please shut up. Mm hmm. I hope Joyce doesn't hate me for tearing into David. I don't want to see or hear you again, Max. You've hurt me and my family enough. Yeah, whatever. Max, don't beat yourself up. David earned this all by himself. Understand? Yeah, he does. Where's Chloe? There she is. Max, that gave me chills. And you better not rewind this one. Hmm. <laughs> she told you. Well, now what? Guess we can leave. Let's go. Listen, when I went through David's laptop, I found pictures of Rachel and Frank being more than friends. <laughs> right, no way, Max. She was just posing to tease Frank. If you're not gonna believe me, why don't we check out what Frank has in his RV? What's that gonna prove? Frank has Rachel's bracelet. What else does he have in there? Motherfucker better not have anything, for his sake. Hi, viewer, how you doing? Let's check the door. Frank gets so wasted, he sometimes forgets to lock it. Look at him, playing with his food. I can't believe you hung out with him. Not anymore. We have to be casual ninjas here. Shipples. Okay, here's the plan. I'll go to the diner and distract Frank by telling him I have his money, but he needs to come with me. Then you come in and rewind so Frank doesn't see me. Then you can tell Frank he needs to check out his RV, and then you rewind after you get the key, and, uh... Uh, and... yeah, it's a little complicated. Chloe. I got this. I'll be right back. Don't let my epic plan get in the way of yours. I'll try to scrounge up a Scooby snack to distract his mangy mutt. Now to find a quick and easy way to snag Frank's keys. Okay. Anything right here that I need? Oh, okay. Oh, poor birdie. What is going on here? Max got mail. Uh, it's good that her father has been responding to her. But things are getting really deep at Black's World. She really want to know what's going on. Not, not time for her to go home yet. Good morning. How are the fish today? Don't ask. First the snow, then an eclipse. What's next? The tornado? Mm, 
Climate change. You don't think it could be like climate change or something? Climate sure has changed around here. Just saw that Prescott brat having a fit by himself in the parking lot. Mm. Isn't he always having a fit? He ain't the only one. If you knew what was going on with the fish around Arcadia Bay. Sorry, I'm too pissed to talk about it. See you around, kid. Okay, so we can talk to him. That's what I want. Good morning. How Don't ask. I heard that something bad was happening to the fish in Arcadia Bay. Well, since you mentioned it first, there ain't no fish in Arcadia Bay. <laughs> what? Come on. None? None worth catching and eating anymore. I'm not shitting you. Salmon, trout, bass have died and migrated. Even the damn clams are dying. Oh my god. But what about... Sorry, just too salty to talk about it. See you around, kid. Alright, that's about it. There's a trucker. Let's see what he, what's going on with him. Hey, how's it going? Peachy. Interview over. Bad day? Having a bad day at the office? Work is dried up around here, and I have bills to pay. Time is money to a guy like me. That sucks. Wish I could drive right out of Arcadia Bay. Whole town is crumbling. Snow, eclipse, and a slut trying to commit suicide. Maybe you should leave then. What if I could? Now even that shifty Rachel what's her face asked me once if I'd drive her to Los Angeles. You knew really? Rachel Amber? Can you tell me about her? Nope. Christ, why don't you get a real job instead of homework? I'd love to see you Blackwell turds try to drive my 1977 Needham 18 wheeler out there. Like I said, interview over. Okay, I can, I can rewind and talk to him again. Hey, how's it go? Peachy. Okay. Actually, I wanted to ask if that's your bitch in 1977 Needham 18-wheeler out there. How the hell did you know that? Mm. Rachel. My friend Rachel Amber told me about this cool rig in town because I love taking pictures of truckers. You knew Rachel. She sure didn't give a rat's ass about truckers or real work. Oh. So you must have known her too? Only from the diner. She was just a gold digger. She belonged in California with all those you know who know what's. Good riddance. But you can take pictures of my truck anytime. Take care. Oh, cool. We take a picture. I got the picture. Okay. Let's go inside. Good lord, bacon. I'm ready to nosh again. Oh, but I need to get those keys from Frank. Yeah, Warren is very anxious about this date with Max. Oh, there's Nathan. Let's see what's up with him. But keep your eyes peeled. He's loaded. Nathan has time to get drugs from Frank because he was expelled. Okay, we can't talk to him right now. Ooh, food. Looks tasty, but my need for keys comes first. There's the cop. Never mind me, officer. I'm just here to steal a drug dealer's keys. <coughs> I could chug this beer or dump it on Frank. Beer is gross, so. Frank Bauer stars in A Face Full of Beans. Yeah.
Hello. You show up after almost shooting me? You have serious balls, little girl. But hanging out with Chloe, playing with guns and dressing like Rachel doesn't make you cool or tough. The fuck do you want? How do you know these are Rachel's clothes? Because yeah. she looks beautiful in them and you look like ass. Aiming a gun doesn't make you any sexier. Grab your keys and let's check out your RV. Let's not. You fucking creep me out. In other words, Max, no keys. Maybe I could chat up that officer, or even Nathan, and then go all Groundhog Day on them until I get the info I need. Okay, let's do that. Talk to the cop right quick. There she is, Super Maxine. That's your new nickname around the bay. Sorry, but you did earn it. We're all real proud of you for helping Kate down. Thanks, Officer Barry. I was just lucky. And right on time. Kate is who counts. I'm glad you're representing Black Bull Academy. Mm. What else you got? Yeah, I want to know what's going on with Nathan Prescott. I thought Nathan Prescott represents Blackwell. Well, don't make me backwash this bacon. You know what the <laughs> Prescotts represent. Taking over Arcadia Bay? You're not far wrong, Max. I heard the Prescotts are working on some new big land deals. Mr. Prescott helped out my family once a while ago. So I made a deal with him that I can't seem to get out of. Man, if I could get one instant replay in life. I better finish my breakfast first. Okay, let's rewind. There she is. Thanks, Officer Brick. I'm glad you're. Uh. I guess Kate Marsh will be the face of Blackwell for a while. And you for helping her. That's the kind of school spirit we need more of. Yeah. Well, that one. I heard a rumor you were working for the Prescott family on the side. Jesus, doesn't this town ever shut up? It's I don't a small blame town. you for getting extra work. Look, sometimes I check up on the Prescott family to make sure they're doing all right. Nathan included. Keep this quiet, Max. Try interrogating somebody else, Lieutenant Caulfield. Hmm. See if we can get something. What can I do One for you, more Max? thing from him. Uh, I feel like David Madsen represents Blackwell. Not for long. He's a loose cannon. We all respect him for his service, but he's too eager. He's eager to be a dick to me and Chloe. That's true. He was ranting about a stolen gun, and then I tuned out. Somebody's always out to get him. Yeah, that's about it. Okay. Let's try Nathan. Keep your eyes peeled. He's a loose cannon. Rachel! Uh, whatever the fuck. Uh. Oh, look. Max Amber. Nice outfit. <laughs> By the way, thanks for getting me fucking expelled, you twee bitch. You're lucky this is a public place. Considering we're in a public diner with a police officer right over there, you shouldn't advertise your rage, Prescott. Oh, yeah? Yeah, that's right. Tell You shouldn't have bitch snitched on me to that fucked up principal. Listen, Nathan, I'll take back everything I said about you. If you hook me up with Frank. Know what I mean? You look like you've never even taken a hit of baby aspirin. How do you think I stay wired all night studying? So is it a deal or not? Calm down, hard up. Deal. You'll get your school supplies. Just go over to Frank and whisper, higher education. You'll hook your ass up. Okay, what else you got? Cops information. I heard your dad hired a local cop to keep an eye out on you and Frank Bowers. Like a babysitter. Bullshit! My dad doesn't hire. He owns. And these pigs know better than to knock on me. Do they? I hope that means Frank won't get busted. Eventually he will. Guy's into some freaky shit. He told me once he took a weird blood oath for Rachel. Uh, forget I told you that. 
Seriously. Now get off my crack, whore. Keep your pie holes shut. Mm, what else you got? Kate, I, I want to know. I hoped that Kate Marsh would stay quiet. Idiot says what? Did you drug her? You are so stupid, Max. You think you're so goddamn smart, too. Don't push me, girl. You don't want me for an enemy, understand? Do you? Calm down, dude. We're in the diner. Right. Plus, you're an adult now. I can sue your dumbass for libel. Thanks. Now fuck off, Dyke. <sighs> oh, that's about it. Oh, Frank. What the fuck now? By the way, Frank, I was wondering if you had any, um, higher education. <laughs> oh, yeah, sure. Do you want the after school special to go with that? <laughs> Jesus. Look, I don't sell anything but bottles to feed me and my dog. I work for a living. Not like you spoiled Blackwell punks. With too much time on your hands. But... But nothing. Don't ever ask me for anything ever again. Ever. I'll back off. <clears throat> Not gonna work. Mm. Can I take his can? I just wanted to see what would happen if I did this. I'm gonna kill you! Yeah, that doesn't work. Hmm. This probably needs more information. Holy shit, what do you want now? Weren't you supposed to keep your mouth shut about the blood oath Frank took for Rachel? Blood oath? Who? What the fuck? I never told anybody about that freaky shit. Besides, everybody knows Frank is a liar and a loser. Even Rachel did. Yet Rachel Amber hung out with him more than you. So? Rachel wanted Frank's stash. She let him take pictures, then he carries around her photo like she posed for love. Dumbass. <sighs> Anything else? Mm. Why? Your sugar daddy will always protect you and threaten me. You don't know shit about my father or me. Nobody here does. Then tell me what I should know. Why? So you can pretend to care? Hmm? Spoiler alert, he's an asshole. Maybe I could help you. I don't need you for anything except to stay out of my fucking business, understand? Now get out of my face. What about the cops? Does he know anything What else? can I do for you? Do you think That's the last one. Bay is a weird town? I'd take a normal city with normal problems about now. It makes me sick thinking about it. Okay, that's all. It's gotta work. Get a new outfit. And leave me alone. I shouldn't have said that. I need to rewind. What the fuck? Mm, Rachel's photo. You know I saw that photo Rachel gave you. Uh, uh, how do you know about that? Huh? Chloe, right? She just told me that one of Rachel's favorite pictures was the one she did for you. Really? Yeah, I mean, that's what I thought. She was just a natural beauty, you know? Wait, wait, let me, let me find it. Here, uh -huh. look for yourself. Jackpot! 
Uh... I'm afraid I'll have to take your keys now, asshole. You did not just do that. Give me back my keys, bitch. Give me my keys now! Okay, that doesn't work. Key brought. Now back to Chloe. Perfect. Oh, look who's here. Are you shitting me? Yeah, we can save her. Are you shitting me? Are you shitting me? Alyssa, watch out! What are you thinking, Max? Hey, I'm always here for you. <sighs> That was close, Alyssa. Okay, Max. This is the third time you've saved me from harm's way. You must be my angel. Don't thank me. I haven't done anything special. You've paid your dues by saving Kate's life on the roof. You really are a Blackwell hero, Max. Yeah. I'm just glad she came down. Kate's a good person. My friend. And she was almost bullied to death by a video. It's fucked up, but you're an amazing friend. I want to make sure she knows how many friends she really has from now on. Amen to that. Max, we should get a posse to see her in the hospital when they allow visitors. Let's hang later and talk some more. Yeah, that'll be perfect. Okay, let's... We got the key, let's go inside. Oh, let me peek in the window. Deja vu. There's dust on the dust now. Yep. Where's Chloe? I should have known. The amazing Spider Max. I couldn't have done it without Frank. Now let's get in and out. You'll need this, Max. That is one big bone. On your mark, get set. Throw! Uh, throw towards the. Parking lot. Get the treat, treat boy. I think we just made that dog our bitch. Get it? Now we can snoop in peace, but let's not waste time. The doggy is busy now, but he might come back. Yep, look at him chewing that bone. Okay. Go inside. 